Guys, welcome back to the wasteland. We are here in surviving the aftermath for a second part. And the game's been patched, so it's fixed up a little bit as we continue through the Epic Store early access. Totally not a timed exclusive. Uh, by the way, review, review code was provided for this game, and we are going to be jumping back into our save. In the last part, we survived a pandemic. And so far, everything's looking okay. The first phase seems to be over. We've explored a little bit of the world. We've unlocked some science points to unlock the first levels of technologies. And we're going to go into some new, new buildings that we've unlocked and stuff like that. And maybe take on some bandits, which we may or may not succeed at. Uh, but yeah. So far, this game has been relatively solid. It's not perfect. But few things have been improved. I'm not sure if it shows anything yet. The patches fixed, you know, how we had so much trouble clicking on the gate when it was being built. Apparently that's been fixed. Uh, meanwhile, we just got through the pandemic. This uh, water tower is being built. We are going to be getting a tool shop. I think everything else is re uh, returned to work. Yes, good. Okay, Forrester's going. I think the sawmill is functioning. Let's unpause the game. Several construction zones are lacking resources, no problem. Uh, the stockpile... Still has a source for planks and concrete, if anything. Our food storage still has berries to collect. Okay, good. Apologies for any stuttering or lagging when scrolling around. That's the game. <laughs> it's on my side. The, the game just does that. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a fix for it. Uh, we've got two people who are available. You can go grab those electronics. Good. And you can go grab those tools. Or are you not? Can we not? Oh, you're not available to move. That's fine. Okay. Let's return to things. Now, this is lacking some concrete. We can just go grab that. No problem. Very nice. Good. Now. We unlock some new things to build. We've got the tenement, cost-effective form of housing, several colonists, some protection against radiation and catastrophes. Houses eight people. Okay. Shanty houses three people. So I think I do need to get a tenement down. We have a cookhouse. Prepares warm meals for basic food ingredients. Meals are not only a good way to offer diverse and nutritious food palettes, also makes lives in the colony more comfortable. Okay, so we're gonna need that. Probably should get a fishing hut down as well. What else have we unlocked? Forester logging camp. Okay, uh-huh. Tool shop tailor. We do need to get a tailor down. Power. Generates renewable. So this is what those cost. This costs six, this costs eight. Wind turbine. Requires more maintenance. I see. We don't have anyone sick, so you go back to work into things. That's slowly getting concrete. You're missing tools. So yeah, we're short on tools right now. So we need to... Um, need to get that going. Uh, a lot of people are sleeping. It's the middle of the day. I'm not sure why so many people are sleeping. <laughs> Specialist ready for action. Okay, you are going to grab those tools. We could do with a couple. That's empty. That has 14 Gs. Okay. So yeah, we're going to be grabbing more of those. These bandits here. Attack 9, Defense 1. I feel like we need some kind of soldier unit. We've got two scouts. I don't know how we get more soldier units. Um... Why is corn being stored in the gate? I don't know why some things are just stored over here. But I guess that's fine? Water tower complete? Okay, so we can start storing water. Production 36, consumption 16, balance 20. Storage 60 out of 600. So this will allow us so that if we're suddenly shot on water, people don't just dehydrate to death. Now, are we actually getting some concrete 
back here. That's three more. That's how much we need. Perfect. Okay. Get the tool shop built, please. Uh, wind turbine. This tenement costs 12 concrete. There must be a way of producing more concrete, right? I don't know. I don't know. Because your scouts bring it, you can't move it to the storehouse. Oh, I see. But but then again, why is corn here? We grow corn. Which does make it seem like we don't have enough crops going. Let us get more fields down, yeah? Let's put... Two more fields. Loop round. Do that. Let's double our crops. Oh, this has finally got everything it needs. Good. After that, we should set up the other production things. For example, a tailor. Oh, it does fit here. Perfect. How big is a tenement? Oh, it's way big. Okay. So the tailor can go right here. Okay, good. Uh, you are ready to just grab more. The person without tools is building the tool shop. Okay. Crops from your gate are from refugees. Oh, when refugees come in, they leave this stuff here. Okay. I assume our people can eat this stuff. This will be corn. Okay. So everything looks fine. A van approaches. Dan the mystery van man. A red van screeches to a halt and a man steps out and immediately climbs up on the roof. Attention! Dan the Mystery Van Man is here again uh, with his trademarked mystery van. If you want to get what's inside, a microscopic donation will make it yours. So we don't have enough for anything. But okay, this is the bartering that they mentioned. Okay, so we just couldn't afford anything. There was a, a tech. What is this? Trading center, right. All right, let's keep things going. Is this trapper actually, yeah, the trapper is producing meat. Do we have any kids? We have three kids, which will eventually grow up. Okay, this is gonna be potatoes. Specialist ready for stuff. I think it's you. Uh, you are currently holding the five tools. Scout this first. Attack 12, defense zero. Huh. Oh, water. Okay. 21 components. I see. Okay. We should be bringing those resources back soon enough. Is this still not constructed? Okay, it's going. It's going. Do we still have enough nine concrete there? So we're not really chopping trees down anymore because we're producing planks, right? This sawmill... Oh, it works fast! It... it... It makes the planks real quick. So what I need to do is I move this work area to the closer concrete deposits. 
so it'll make things faster, yeah? Tool shop is now producing tools from metal. The scrapper is still got plenty of metal there. Brilliant. You. Yeah, grab all of those. So this should be... Okay, the tailor's coming down. Now, I'm going to build a tenement. Here. Because I'm just worried that we're going to need more housing soon. So I'm going to place the tenement there. Okay, we could have another one if we want. Oh, we might have to clear that nuclear waste, but okay. So that costs just a lot of everything. We do actually need some trees. Oh, you're all ready. Okay, you are coming back. With the five tools. This requires 12 concrete. We put 17 planks straight in there. Need 25. Okay. So this sawmill... I think we double up on the sawmill. Tailor completed, so we can now produce clothes. We've only got one carrier. Jeez. Uh, I think we don't produce clothes because we have 11. And we need the carriers. We do need some tools stocked up. We can... The shortage of people is really what holds us back here. No, not you. You. There's two more to grab. Let's get them all down. I'm not sure what power is going to be used for. I'm not sure if we have a use for power. What now? Hunting opportunity. Open the gate, they heard animal noises not too far away. You know, we're not going through a pandemic right now. Go on a hunt. Hunters return with meat, 20 venison. Wow, okay. Something good happens. Low on tools, okay. So yeah, we do need the cookhouse next. What? <laughs> um... We just... It's just... Uh... Repair. Clear. Okay. Uh... There's a fire. How, how do I... Okay, also... Field. Goes back there. Okay. <laughs> Someone cast Meteor, right? It just came out of nowhere. There was no, like, rumbling or light or anything. It's just... <laughs> what? Okay. Um, so we're short on metal. To produce tools. So you just get off of that first. Uh, can anyone put out this? Are you repairing that? Are you putting that fire out? I'm not. I, I hope it's working. Small field destroyed. Tent is quickly damaged. Okay. Specialist ready. It is you. You're coming back with the five tools. Very good. So we now have five tools in the stockpile. You can then... Start scouting down here, I think. Try find more free resources. Yeah, okay. I... I... I think... I think this is fine. The fire is not spreading. 
How do we get more metal? We just need, like, another person working on the scrapper. Go back to corn. Potatoes, corn. Corn, potatoes. We have some venison there. We have a bunch more venison there. Okay, the fire's out. The bar doesn't go up, it just goes from 25 to 100. Good. The tenement is down, so now we can get the cookhouse. It's not too expensive. The cookhouse should be near enough to things, but... I guess I place it here. Near the food storage. That's where that's going. The cookhouse. Okay, okay. Yeah, we just shot on people. How? Huh. How long does it take for a child to become an adult? So we've doubled up the scrapper. You are coming back with those 20. And gonna head back up. So we have 24 components. That's quite a lot of components. Considering this costs eight, this costs six. Oh, but this costs eight um, parts as well. Oh, we shot on parts. I think the wind turbine is worth saving for. Uh, so we have four tools. What are fun boxes? Oh, things from the old world. So managing people like this is definitely good. Tenement completed, good. Zero occupants, but we have houses for people if they suddenly show up. So the cookhouse will be next. And there's uh, nothing else we should be building right now. Water is at max storage. So the cookhouse prepares warm meals from basic food ingredients. Meals are not only a good way to offer as diverse and nutritious food palette as possible, but also make the lives of the colony more comfortable. Berries depleted. Okay, so it takes wood to corn to make four food. So it basically doubles the amount of food we have by cooking it with the cost of some wood, which... Wait, is that a different kind of wood? It looks more like logs. Is that a different kind of wood or is it just taken from the planks? We have doubled up on that as well. We need two more. Okay. You. Go scout that, please. Okay. Things are pretty strong. We don't really need that plastic. I think I need more science. <clears throat> are there seasons in this game? As far as I can tell, no, but I haven't been playing for that long, and I don't know if there's intention to put in seasons. Um, I always prefer seasons being in the game, but I'm not sure if there are. No way to recruit people? No. They just sort of show up sometimes. Uh, or have kids. I think they do, they can have kids in tents, because it sort of says here, under housing, 
the emergency shelter, they're less likely to reproduce in cramped up shelters. But tents only house two people. Oh, colonists are less likely to re reproduce in cramped shelters like the tenement as well. Okay, so we're gonna try keep the tenement as like... Can you manage occupants or do they just automatically go to the best spot? This is sort of like a emergency housing, just in case. Any of the kids starting to turn into adults? I think one did in the last part, towards the end of the video. Because we have 16 people now. 13 adults. One died. How do you not have clothes? We have 10. Trapper. Okay. Is this... Oh, this does have everything. So the cookhouse is going to be built. And we do want some person working in there. And at that point, I think I can... Pull some workers off something. Is that? Oh, okay. That can actually be handy. Keeping up with the timber productions a bit tough. So this person, what are you doing? Hi. Uh huh. But oh, did he take? Oh, he took. Clothing from the gate. Okay, so the gate is fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, it shows that path as well. I didn't realize that before. A bandit's at the gate. He's acting a bit odd. Hmm. Trader bandit. A man approaches the gate with a hefty backpack, bursting out the seams with blueprints, measuring sticks, and other items. He has all the usual bandit trappings, but is acting in a very unbandit like fashion. Oi, oi, might I address whomever's in charge? A master builder is here, and you better listen. He's building a monument of sorts and needs construction materials, so how about we trade, eh? Cabbages, medicine. Asks if he has something more exciting to trade. So he's selling cabbages of medicine for metal. Okay, well, we, yeah, we, we don't have a lot of metal. Actually, I have four metal. Why can't I accept that? That might be a bug. Do I look like a dealer of flesh to you? Me? I'm an honest bandit just wanting to make my mark on the world. Goodbye. The bandit's visibly upset by the inquiry and sets off with a brisk pace into the distance. Hmm. Okay, okay. Well, I didn't really need cabbages anyway. We we have we have a bad bad experiences with cabbages in this on this channel, so it's fine. It's fine. We don't need cabbages. All right. Let's keep things going. So once the cookhouse is done, small concrete ruin depleted. So we cleared that. Colonist Sebastian injured. That just means we need a doctor. And I think at this point, I can take off one person from the sawmill, because we don't really need more wood coming in. The forester can continue, I guess. Three deposits depleted. So, we need to move this work area to... Yeah, cover those large concrete ruins. Specialist, ready for action. Is it you? Oh, so this is... I've not seen this before. This is red. So, we definitely can't do that. There's hazards in that one. Okay. There's hazards in this one. Should I just try? Chance 33%. I'm a little scared of trying. Just scout this. 
Free medicine. Okay, that's useful. Okay. Okay. Cookhouse is... Looking like a building, at least. It actually looks like a fast food joint. <laughs> Did we deplete the berries? Oh, there's two right here. Okay. Um, Sebastian. Where is Sebastian? I don't know. Huh? But we do have medicine and a doctor. Oh, the bandit hit points are low? Oh. They only have seven hit points and we have a hundred. But our attack, excuse me, our attack is only one. Which means we have to hit them seven times? I have to check what, what it said. I don't know how defense... counts. I don't know. I don't know. That's That still seems risky. Because they have attack of 10. They have 10 times more attack damage than we do. Even though their hit points are low. There might be multipliers and stuff, and even at just base thinking about the numbers, we still take 70 damage to kill them. And that's if there's no multipliers or anything. How are we so short on people? Okay, I'm gonna take one person off the metal. Is the cookhouse done? Okay, cookhouse is done. Select recipe. I've discovered a new recipe! A delicious vegetable stew made from... Any combination of the available vegetables. Hearty cooked meat stew made from any combination of meats. Fish is counted as meat. A healthy meat including both meat and vegetables that contain all vitamins and nutrients survivor needs. The delicious stew from made from every type of available insect. Insects are good alternative to meat. Okay. I think we can do meat and vegetables because the trapper is producing some meat. And we still have 20 in there, and we have three in here. One's just been taken. Um, now this, this firewood, how do we get... Like, I'm confused about the firewood. This... Just go grab that. I'm confused about the firewood. Yeah, th those bandits also have five defense, right? So... Is that person cured? I think so. Let's take the doctor off. Because we need more people walking around. What's our resources like? 18 planks. So, stocking up on resources definitely can be useful because we trade when people show up. You need a logging camp to create... F oh... Is that something I don't have? Oh, okay, I see. Cuts down trees from the specified work area, turns them into firewood. There it is. Okay. Understood. Uh, I guess I'll put it here. And shift this road. Why is this road so weird? Okay. Let's make this the work area. This is gonna be our forest. Okay. Understood. Understood. Three carriers. That's... Uh, we just need, like... Eight more people. I guess we could go ahead and build that fishing place. It's a bit far though. You? Okay. 
So this is just hazards, but we don't need that. You know, medicine's not urgent right now. Let's do some scouting. What is that? Antibiotics. Hmm. Okay, we don't have any of those. Does it count as medicine? Okay, food's looking fine. This required 10, 6, okay. So we basically don't need someone working in the cookhouse yet because they got the three vegetables. So three veg uh, th four vegetables, three meat, four, three, plus the two wood equals 10. So it converts seven units of food into 10 units of food. Well, seven units of food and two units of wood into 10 units of food, but it's way better for everyone. Okay. The colony and the world map feel rather disconnected. It sort of works like Frostpunk, really, doesn't it? I'm I'm a big fan of province maps and world maps on city builders and things like this. I'm a big fan. I really like it, especially since playing Caesar 2. Logging camp is down, so now we can move the work area to where we're reforesting things. Go chop trees for firewood. This was a guy who was working at the cookhouse before. So the nearest bit of water is there, right? Yeah. So if we wanted to build a fishing hut, it has to be here. It'll definitely need a road. We can't draw a road? Oh, it goes around this way. So we're not building anything else after that. through this okay that'll take a while I'll keep them busy now what children's rights oh this is getting more like frostpunk okay a couple comes at you asking if the colony has any rules about parenting the mother thinks the children should be tasked with handling domestic work while the father thinks the children are too young and should be allowed to spend their days playing. Plan to have the children educated? What does that mean? In this world, I would side with the children doing some work. Especially, even in, in today's world, <laughs> you know, kids should do some work. Like, not operate the saw at the sawmill, but... Like this... The world has ended, like, childhood. <laughs> Spend their days playing. We got hit by a meteor. <laughs> but I don't know what plan to have them educated means. But yeah, that, that should lead to science points, right? Okay, okay. Let, let's... We need something to do anyway. Let's plan to have the children educated. 
You agree that children should pitch in, but don't think taking over domestic tasks is the best idea. You'll promise to look into educating them in a way which could include light domestic work as means to teach responsibility. Yes, that perfect. Perfect. What does that mean? I don't know. Grab the rest of those. Thank you. Oh, this has run out. Can we just move the work area? Uh, should be fine. Building up the fishing hut. Are we actually getting firewood now? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have firewood. So we can start cooking food. I think these need to take turns. We don't need to be foresting and chopping trees at the same time. I should chop trees, forest. Chop trees, forest. Until we have enough people. There's just more things than... We have people to do, right? Ah, oh. I've forgotten your name, dead person. Slot number one in the burial pit. We could use your help right now. Slot number one. Survivors are seeking shelter. Four adults! Yes, I said we needed like five. One child still counts. Dafina. A scavenger. Okay. Dafina sees endless opportunity amidst the crumbling cities. Countless treasures waiting to be given a new home. For her, adventure is wrapping copper wire into a ball or cracking open an old TV. You may think she's just trading old junk, but for her, there is a memory in each of them. Leadership, exploration, attack one, research three, scavenge four, resource multiplier. Okay, recovery, healing speed in the colony. Okay. Uh, some decent resources as well. We just need the people. You don't know how good you have it here. I've seen fire. We've seen fire too. All across the horizon. By the morning, all that was left was dark, endless ash. Okay. Except, you can stay in the tenement for now. That's five people. So now with that many people, we can... We can get things activated again, right? Okay, look. Good. Get to work. Get to work. Very nice. Okay, so now we have Dafina, which is a scavenger. Has four scavenge points compared to three on Platy. Oh, Crow has three attack. We can send Crow against these bandits. Meanwhile, you... ...can just start heading up into these barren mountains, I guess. I need to kill these science guys. With Crow. I'm gonna bring Crow back, drop off the timber, and kill those bandits. Oh, already? Who? Oh, you. Okay. Yeah. Keep... Keep scouting. Free concrete. Okay, so right now, concrete seems like the only finite resource, right? Actually, no. Plastic as well. We do... Actually, everything is finite, right? Only trees are not, because we can plant them. Okay. So plenty of food's coming in. Production has started. Okay. So we're cooking up plenty of... Okay, food is looking great. Uh, we're actually going to get some meat as well. We are just short on timber. We need more timber. We're gonna get a lot once Crow gets back, but... If a trader comes by, we're gonna be low. Okay. Um, if I could get a couple more parts, I could build... None of these are parts. I could build the wind turbine. Maybe I should just try build a... Solar panel. It'll cost six and some plastic. I think that's fine, right? Like, what happens if we build a solar panel? What is 
a nice space for it all. I'm gonna build it. It costs concrete, metal, plastic, and components. We have plenty of components. Let, let's see how it does. Okay, since we're out of timber, these guys are just building the road. It's a long way, so if we want to get any fish in, we need this road. I saw from some screenshots there are, like, better roads, like stone roads or, or something. Right? Shouldn't be that hard to make concrete, that's antiquity technology. You would assume so. I've never made concrete myself. Um, there should also technically be a road coming all the way down here to these resources. Are you? Are you okay? I'm not sure if that person's stuck. Workplace sawmill. Okay. I think I fixed it. There's still some pathing and worker stuck issues. Okay, crow is free. We're gonna kill some bandits. Okay, tools are low, but we are producing tools. Okay, we're producing clothes. Good, we want to stockpile those. Water, concrete mix, and a lot of mixing. I don't know what goes into concrete mix. I, that, that's my point there. Um, <laughs> like, I've seen it. I know what it smells like. You know that smell of, of concrete mix? It's... I don't know how you describe that. Do we not have any... I think our sawmill workers got stuck. That's why we weren't getting any trees. So I think just... I don't know, Crow's gonna be back soon anyway. We have four? Oh, a child grew up! I missed the notification, we still have three children, that means one became an adult. We have four, perfect. So is there any resource besides planks that we're short on? No, I think it's... it's just planks. Where is the nearest... I'll go grab some planks, I guess. Okay, is it you? Go scout that, please. Okay, attack three, def uh, attack nine, defense three, ten hit points. Destroy bandit camp to reveal locations in this sector. Okay. That will be platy. Try find something useful. Oh, could you not reach? Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. Resources on its way. We have 15 cooked meals. Look at that. We have so much food. Food is not an issue. We have 136. Consumption is 17. The solar panel's done. Alright. So now it says we have production 8. Does it turn off at night? Concrete is cement, sand, and aggregates. Like the aggregates, I wouldn't know specifically what they would be. Children grow up so quickly these days. Yeah, they grow up in like three or four days from child to adult. Uh, you grow up quick in the apocalypse. Are we actually getting any planks? I don't know if this sawmill is still working. Hmm? 
Workplace sawmill. I think the sawmill's kind of broken. Let's just try put one person in there. That might be a bug. There's no way to... Maybe if I move work area. Let's try reset it a bit. Okay, the fishing hut finally has the planks it needs. Okay, you guys go back. We've got seven planks in here. Thing is, the sawmill chops up the wood so quick it's hard to catch. Bear spotted. Some want to go hunt it. I guess yes. I guess yes. We let them hunt it. They might get injured. Two colonists injured. <laughs> Empty handed. Ah, oh, I knew it. Alright. Doctor in. Crow, you're good. Drop off the planks. And you. So four attack. They have three armor. They have nine attack. We have one armor. Let's hit them once and see what happens. Get two doctors in, that's fine. So now if I want to see if this sawmill is working, I just have to... Because we're not spending any. I just have to see if this becomes... If our planks go up any. We've got 57 planks. The fishing hut just needs to be built, okay. Occupants one. This needs to cycle between the two colonists, because they're not both here. Only one's in here. Charlotte. Huh? Oh. You can't that but that is not a button. That is not a button. Look, UI design. You cannot put something that small. That eye icon there, that is not a button. <laughs> That's so small. Uh -huh. There's the locate button. Okay, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Activity working, but workplace sawmill. Is she stuck? What is she doing? Is she building the road? I think our sawmill is a bit messed up. That is fun boxes. Ooh, good. You. Yep. Science points. 500 observatory. I think we could try risk that. It's getting a bit snowy up there. Yeah, this needs to cycle as well. I can't find my two injured people. One is here, being treated. Tools produce very slowly. Huh? Yeah, I think this is busted. Let's just demolish the sawmill. Oh, and then someone took her place immediately. The task the sawmill people are being given, they seem to go do something else instead and then they can't do it because they're not supposed to be doing it. That seems to be what's happening. I'm trying to understand the bug that's happening. Because I do understand programming. That was quick, it's gone! <laughs> okay, let's try rebuild the sawmill.
Yeah. Construction complete. Fishing hut. So we can finally get some fish coming in. Huh? Charlotte's gonna be the fisher person. Good. Good. Oh, there's berries right there as well. Mm -hmm. Have we depleted these berries? No. We have 20 food. 20 mixed meals. Okay, good, good. So now we basically just need the science points. Which we are going for two. We're gonna risk the observatory and we're gonna try kill this bandit layer. Get a whole bunch of science and advance through the tech tree. Hopefully. Hopefully. I have 60 planks? Um... Charlotte is injured. Wait. Charlotte was... Wait, there's two Charlottes. <laughs> mm -hmm. They need more names in this game. There can't be two Charlottes with the same profile picture. <laughs> Twins. Twins don't have the same name. <laughs> oh, we just had twins. What should we call them? Charlotte. And? What do you mean, and? <laughs> okay, we're gonna hit these bandits. We're gonna hit these bandits. Four attack. Okay, let's try figure out the math here. They have eight health. We have four attack, they have three armor. Now, we don't know how these numbers work. Like, do they only take one damage from this, and do we take eight damage? That's my basic assumption, but let's find out. No, they took... We, we just punched them. Okay, so we took 15 damage, and they took four damage. What is the math going on? I feel like it makes sense, but I don't know the math. So their 9 attack and my 1 defense means I took 15 damage. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there was a dice roll. <laughs> Maybe the attack is plus d6. I don't know, they rolled a d6. I don't know what they had, what happened. Maybe those are bonuses. They might have base stats. They might have base stats underneath all of this. These might be multipliers, not actual stats. Like three attack, that might be on top of a base attack. I really don't know. I don't know if help has anything. There's bandit camps. Combat skill. They highlighted this word, but it's not clickable. Specialist skills. Okay, there's some RPG stuff. Okay, attack damage. Level 1, 2 to 7. Level 2, 3 to 8. Level? They have levels? They ha they have levels. Oh, these are the levels. The attack is three. Okay, so three attack doesn't mean three damage. It means level three attack, which is... Four to nine. So it's not a fixed damage. You deal four to nine damage. I see. I see. But that doesn't make as much sense because their attack is nine. And this doesn't go up to nine. We can't have level nine. So I don't know what... 
skill level 9 means in terms of attack. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I understand. There are numbers. It should make that more clear. Like, if you just highlight this, it should say level 3 attack damage what to what, right? It should just say it here. It should just say it there. Now, this says Colonist Charlotte is injured, but it doesn't seem like she doesn't have the injured symbol on top of her head. And she doesn't look injured. But her health is down. She works at a small field. I don't know how you... Did she just take some medicine? No, she's just grabbing some. I don't know what she's grabbing. Needs to show what they're carrying as well. Oh! She has the masochist perk. Causing self-inflicted injuries gives great satisfaction, damages self when in full health. But I can't dismiss this... ...message. You are gonna grab those. You are gonna go risk. This says chance 33%. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. It worked. We have 150 science points. Now, that means we can't afford any. Oh no, we can't afford. We can't afford anything. <laughs> Nothing is 150. Okay. It gets expensive after a while. Okay, so I don't know how we suddenly have... Maybe this Charlotte is one of the kids that grew up. But now we have a permanent colonist Charlotte is injured. But <laughs> she has the masochist trait, so she's gonna be permanently injured. <laughs> That seems a little weird. You can't have a masochist trait that gives you a permanent notification that you can't dismiss. Does that mean I always need a medical tent? Can we build a psychiatry so she can stop that? <laughs> I don't know what to do. It seems a little weird. Also... Around the world map, there's this... Is this until the next specialist is ready? I just realized there's a green line going around the world map here. That's right here. Right. Maybe that's when the next specialist will be ready? Okay, well, food's looking fine. Resources are looking fine. We have 54 planks. Mm -hmm. Are you stuck? Okay, you're sleeping first, okay. Berries depleted. Well, we can keep grabbing berries. Get those. So we basically just need... We just need more science, right? Because we can't quite progress. Now, I'm not sure if they're planning to put in campaign modes into this with more fixed long-term objectives, because right now there's like no objectives for us to do. And I don't know what we're supposed to use power for. Consumption is zero. We don't have any tech that would use it. Low on tools, okay. Wandering merchant, sure. Oh, this guy looks different. Best deals. Wandering merchant. We still can't afford anything. A big van, obviously brimming with miscellaneous items and goods, waits you, uh, waits for you at the gate. A man with questionable taste in clothing shouts, Oi, heard you might be willing to partake on a bit of bartering. See anything you fancy? Tools, medicine, clothing, not really. Would I ever trade 29 metal for 3 medicine? Or 22 junk for 4 tools? That seems a little... No. What else do you have? Well, I do have these as well, but that's all I got right now. 
Planks for venison. Metal for berries. Nah, it's fine. We, we're fine on food. No deal. Some other time then, fellow gents and ladies. Don't be a stranger. The merchant stuffs his samples back to the van and climbs on the driver's seat, rattling into the distance. Done. Oh, you're ready. Okay, so we're gonna punch this guy again. And he should die if we deal the same number of same amount of damage. Did it. Good. So this now has 305 science points for the taking. Low on tools, I know, I know. Turns metals to tools, which kind of short on metal as well. Alright, so we're still at 54 planks. Using a door. Walking. Okay, let's see if Riley is actually going to be chopping down a tree here. Okay, okay. I had to rebuild a sawmill, but it's fixed. There's still a lot of road tiles not built. I guess we are just sort of short on free people. 54 planks, so how long does this take? using a door. Okay, so that produces that. Mm -hmm. And this makes it 57 planks. Why didn't our planks go up? Nuclear fallout is coming. The horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green, and the air seems to burn your lungs. These are the first signs of the impending danger. Intense radiation is a constant threat, with both colonists and crops withering and dying during a nuclear fallout. New seeds cannot be planted before it's over. Severe cases of radiation, sickness, and thirst take their toll on everyone. Harvest crops before they wither. Stockpile iodine pills uh, to treat radiation sickness quickly. Build more medic tents or assign more workers to existing ones to help those who are in need. Okay. Pause again. Harvest now. Harvest now. It is harvesting. Harvest now. Uh, you are gonna try take more science here. Will it succeed? It does? Okay. Haven't taken any damage. So, pills, we need to go over there. We're not gonna be able to get it... ...soon, though. That's gonna take a while. Okay. Days before catastrophe strikes two. Okay, this will also allow me to take four people off the fields. Giving me enough people to fill the medical tents. do need more tools, don't I? They produce so slowly. Yeah, we need to increase our tool production. So we do have 300 points now, though. Do we need anything? Remembrance. Memorials. Production. Junk recycling. Mechanic shop. Security. Environmental station. Clearing heavily polluted soil without proper equipment is a death sentence. Environment station provides both the means to clear pollution deposits and dispose of the irradiated soil without jeopardizing worker health. Requires energy to function. Trade center. 
Alternative proteins, insect farm, or greenhouse. Okay. Oh, but we need general storage for this. So we can't afford that. Bartering seems cool, though. Trade center attracts bigger trade convoys at your gates, which offer much bigger deals than wandering merchants. Okay, we'll get that. And we'll also get general storage. To work towards the hazmat thing. Trade Center, which should really be put by the gate. That does seem a little weird. Trade Center. Okay. We're harvesting up the food, so we got plenty of food. We are doubling up our tool production here. Oh. Maybe the tra trading outpost could help you get iodine. Right, that could actually work. Let's push this up on priority. This harvesting is taking a while. That's because they don't have tools. Right. Well, no one's... Let's take you off. So we ran out of tools. So harvesting is taking forever. I'm not sure what we're going to need to trade, though. They have to bite off the crops. Ah, oh, can you imagine harvesting corn and potatoes without any tools? We do still have two days, though. You are gonna grab more science. There's still 305 in there. Okay. Okay, okay. So, we just kind of need to keep these resources coming. Because that's what we trade with. a bit of concrete. Do we have concrete? We got plenty of concrete. Okay. I think my planks are still going up. I see I see um, Riley here deliver the planks, but I don't see the number go up. This is 12. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. You're just injured. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. You're just permanently injured. Trade center is... Has all the stuff. Construction has started. Fantastic. I think we're catching up on the tools. I see only two people without tools right now. Huh? Ah, oh, some fish. It takes so long to harvest all this food. Specialist ready, okay. I'm not sure what this this green circle, is it the, the day cycle? You. I'm gonna try grab those. You. I'm gonna keep grabbing science. Okay, nothing bad has happened from... Oh, the danger is 33%. I thought the success rate was 33%. Oh. I understood it backwards. Okay. But also, that means we have enough for the hazmat engineering. Environmental station. It does need power to work. So let's research this. We 
Where is it? Environmental station. Makes the life safer and more comfortable by gathering polluted soil from the pollution deposits and decontaminating it. It produces the stuff. It takes 10 of those and we got everything else. So yes, we can build one of these. Across from the trade center. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, we have enough resources for that. Yeah, these planks are going up. And I think it's it just takes a while to count. Ah, select next none. Let's not grow anything. Just harvest and get out. Okay, it's one day till the nuclear fallout. Let's keep going. It consumes 12 energy? It does. So we actually need to put down another solar panel. That will cost six. This costs ten. So we have just enough. Okay, good. A request. A feast. Times are tough. They want to organize a harvest feast to cheer people up. There's more than enough doom and gloom going around already. I'll re require digging to food stockpile. You know, six fish is fine. A feast of fish. Yeah, have at it. Overjoyed by the decision and rush to make arrangements, makeshift tables, uh-huh. It's not exactly a feast worthy of kings and queens, but lifts people's spirits. Eight happiness. Done. Okay. Just before the fallout hits. Now, you... Keep grabbing this... See, that was what was confusing me. It says, it says here, chance 0%, and I, I don't know what that means. Like, 0% of chance... Oh, see? It says here, danger 33%. Here, chance 33%. That's why I was confused. Chance 33% means 33% 33% success rate. Danger 33% means failure 33%. Failure rate. They literally mean opposite things. Danger and chance. That's why I don't know which one it is, but it's danger. That's why I was so scared of it from before. Someone died to an injury here? Well, let's put that body away. What did... He just tripped and died. <laughs> died to an injury. Well, all right. Okay, you're not working there anymore. These harvests are still going on. Why is this cultivating? I said none. No, don't don't cultivate anything. Get off there. Yeah, there are definitely still some bugs in how all this is working. Grab the last of that science, please. You are grabbing these. Since you got injured, you should man the medic tents. Um, that injured person is a masochist. Oh, did something bad happen? I did hear an explosion. Platy took some damage. Okay. This, this Charlotte, she permanently injures herself. So we have a permanent colonist injured message. <laughs> that's that's the problem pause waiting for selection the graphic hasn't updated that one's still harvesting this one it shouldn't be cultivating because I said to select none ok 
Okay, the solar panel is done. This requires more metal. We're just so low on metal because we're producing all these tools, right? We need more people collecting metal. Still more science to get. Grab it. Okay. Nuclear fallout still incoming. We have 250 points. I don't know if there's anything we want to get. Advanced farming, medium field, large field. Junk recycling. See, I don't really know. Education. Educated children gain a permanent production bonus once they start working. I see. School. I think that is important to get. Okay, we have stocked up on food. 42 properly cooked meals. These road tiles still aren't 100% finished. <laughs> okay, there we go. They're finishing it off now. Is this being built? Waiting for resources? No, it just doesn't have all the metal it needs. This song's good, though. This song's good. Alright, is that body two slots filled? You don't have to work there anymore. Okay. You? Grab the rest of it. I think it's going to be important. No explosions. Good. There's three more in there? We have eight. I probably should just... <laughs> that is definitely wrong. Um, but this seems done. You know, just scout that. What is that? Canned fruit. Alright. I probably should just bring back the pills now. What was that? Was someone... Oh, your happiness is really low. Paranoid. Clumsy. Savannah. Feast 5, tired 10. I think some of our people are... are breaking. That metal deposit's broken. Okay. This tenement has five people. We really should build more proper homes. Shanty. Improved. Oh, I see. So this is better. Colonists want to try a new trap. It's just rabbits. Alright, try it. Try it. One venison. Okay, not bad, not bad. Insufficient construction materials for shanty, okay. It does provide radiation protection as well. Alright, so you're done there. Let's just scout that out. Medicine, that could be handy. Survivors are seeking shelter. Four adults, one child. You know, some people might die. We'll die if we don't get in. No specialist, though. Okay, accept. Some people are going to be homeless. We got to prioritize this. We need the metal, so let's stop producing tools. I know we might be a little low on tools, but we need the metal for housing first. And the fallout is here. Did I set it to low? I set it to low. Hi. Okay. Um, doctor, doctor. Doctor, doctor. 
We have 200 units of food stocked up. No crops can be grown. Water production, 36 consumption, 26. So we're fine on water, fine on power. This is, yeah, we're just short on metal. Make sure we set this to low priority. Actually, I'm just going to pause it. Make sure no metal goes there. We have homeless people. Two homeless people during this. <laughs> uh, so the shanty is an improved home. So these tents are not so good. The tents don't provide any... Yeah, grab that. And you? You know, we haven't fully... Uh, harvested this, but I'm just gonna go. Eight is still better than zero. So let's try to get Platy back home. <sighs> Metal is so much more important than you expect like than some of the other stuff are there more berries out here I'll slowly gather the berries uh, things aren't looking so good beware of the intense radiation and heavy rain right huh People are getting sick here. Uh -huh. Conditions. A major buildup of radiation is burning from the inside. Leads to rapid and painful death unless it is treated soon. Using iodine pills will speed up the healing process. Okay. Occupants 2. Occupants 1 out of 2. This is actually filling up pretty quick. With this amount of population and a disaster like this, a catastrophe... Maybe it's better to have like three medical tents. Well, one was cured. Maybe maybe we can keep up on two. All right. All right. Radiation rains. Yeah. I just want to get through this catastrophe. I think overall we've done okay. Only two deaths. Only two deaths. That's not bad. You're gonna go grab that medicine. Okay, more people getting sick. That's full. This is almost full. That person's... Mm -hmm. The doctor is the one who's sick. Can the doctor cure themselves? I don't know. Three colonists are radiated. Two colonists are radiated. Can the doctor cure themselves? It's... it's Of course it's Charlotte. It's one of the Charlottes. If I disable her... Platy. Ah, can't quite reach. Get more tinned fruit. Okay, let's disable her. You are now free to go get cured. Uh -huh. Can you? You're the masochist as well? Radiation sickness. Ah. Large concrete ruin depleted. Okay. There's still another, I think. No? Oh, it depleted, depleted. Alright. Those four colonists are irradiated. I guess we just put Charlotte back on. Huh? Oh, did she get herself cured? Okay. Now what? Dumpster diving. Not right now. No. Uh, decline. I don't care. Unhappiness. <sighs> Look, everyone's irradiated. Now's not the time to go dumpster diving. 
Occupants 2, Occupants 2, Occupants 1. You know, maybe it's best if Charlotte just dies. Then we can finally get rid of... Oh, the, the injured colonist is mis gone. Maybe because everyone's just irradiated anyway. Platy. We need Platy to get back. We need those pills. So many people are irradiated. A third medical tent could definitely help you. Platy. Get back home. Keep grabbing that. Okay. So we now have... Oh, they're antibiotics. <laughs> they're not what we need. <laughs> they're not iodine. <laughs> I, I just saw pills. I just saw pills. They're antibiotics. Those don't help with radiation. <laughs> oh, it's not exactly a bio problem, is it? Uh, I thought they were iodine pills. Okay, well, we're just going to have to wait it out. Platy, stay home. I think you heal up if you just stay here. Do we just build another medical tent, maybe? We got the shanty down, so that's good. Is it over? Okay, we survived. Okay, now everyone's just kind of sick. Yeah, we can resume construction of that. So it's going to take a while for everyone to just be cured up. But a third medical tent is definitely useful at this point. Oh, I never moved the work area for this thing. There we go. <laughs> I know that's been getting to some of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good thing we had enough blanks. Someone's homeless? Oh. We do need more shanties then. Little awkward dispositioning. Didn't realize we we're going to get so many people. Platy's actually healed up. You can start bringing back the fruit. Platy's ready to go. Can head back out. And I think that's good. Everyone seems to be cured of radiation except for a couple. That's coming in soon. So this medical tent can go down to low priority for now. Ah, we survived. No one died except for that guy who just tripped and died of an injury. <laughs> I don't know, it didn't seem injured to me. Uh, well, we can go back to Corin. Go back to Corin. How is there someone working here? Go back to potatoes. Go back to potatoes. Resume work. Okay. Colonist Savannah died, died of radiation sickness. Oh well, uh, that just means we need someone working on the burial pit. Okay, there we go. One person died. Three, three deaths total. Three deaths total. But yeah, that's, I think that's a good place to end this part too. We've been going for about an hour and a half on this one, slightly longer, but we explored the world, we killed some bandits, we got some stuff, we got medicine which we didn't actually need. Uh, we got some toy boxes, which I don't know what we're going to be using for. I assume we're supposed to build a school next, uh, but we survived. Last time a pandemic, this time uh, fallout radiation. And encountered some bugs. We finally encountered some bugs. There's a hooded figure who wants to talk to me. Beat an old trench coat and burying his face inside a large hood. He remains tight-lipped about his exact origins or motives, but offers to join the colony and help out working as a scientist. He's constantly looking over the shoulder while talking and seems overall nervous. Sure, join us, Lone Wanderer. 
As soon as you open the gate, the wanderer bolts towards the closest pile of food. He tucks some of in his trench coat and rather nimbly slides between the closing gate doors, flabbergasted. Okay. Skip event results. Debug failsafe. I assume they haven't... I, th I think there's a problem with the programming there. He stole four corn. I'm not too concerned. I'm not too concerned. We have 54 plates of food. <laughs> okay, don't trust strangers in trench coats. I think that's the lesson of today. Guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to check out more stuff, there's social media links all down below. You can join us on the Discord, where we have a great community over there. And you can, of course, support the channel on the Patreon Humble Bundle referral link or checking out the merch store, which if you do, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. If you're watching on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now to check out so much more stuff. But until then, thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!